Hi everybody, it's December 13, 2018. Start prepping. Start prepping. Electric grid, prime target of terrorist profound threat, says council. Council? Council. Who's this council? The council is, oh, a bunch of our uh, congressmen and, uh, let's see who else, and industry leaders, industry and governmental leaders. It was a report that was uh, given to Trump a couple of days ago. And it says, new report, yeah, it warns that the electric grid is the prime target of terrorists. Americans are being urged to prepare for up to six months without electricity, transportation, fuel, money, and health care. <laughs> Get on it, Americans. People no longer keep enough essentials within their home reducing their ability to sustain themselves during an extended, prolonged outage. We need to improve individual preparedness, said a just-published report to President Trump. Wasn't it not too long ago? Anybody who was prepping was considered crazy, a nut job, a conspiracy theorist. Nothing's going to happen. What are you keeping all of that extra food and water for? Now our government is telling us we're not prepared and we've got to increase our preparedness. Oh, don't you love it? Don't you love it? Wine, alcohol, really bad for you. Mm, five years later. Oh, wine, good for you. Chocolate, really bad for you. A mm, few years later. Oh, it's good for you. Okay, um, our, our country is batshit crazy. So they're claiming a power outage of up to six months. Uh, you should be prepared at a minimum for 14 days. But if that power outage lasts for six months, well, at least you'll be able to survive 14 days. If there is a power outage for six months. Don't you think our government would be asking people to absolutely prepare for six months? Okay. The report. It's a draft to be voted on this week by the council. It's the second one in one month to warn of a profound threat to the electric grid from terrorism and naturally occurring events like a solar storm or a flare. A prior governmental report also called for presidential action to protect the grid. That report warned of a threat to world order in an attack. Profound risks requires a new national focus. Significant public and private action is needed to prepare for and recover from a catastrophic outage that could leave the large parts, large parts of the nation without power for weeks or months and cause service failures in other sectors, including water, wastewater, communications, transportation, healthcare, financial services that are critical to public health and safety and our national and economic security. Wow. Well, I thought we gave up our individual rights, gave up, you know, our privacy and our freedom for security. Don't you love the security that you have? The, the world's most mightiest military can't protect Americans from planes headed towards the World Trade Center. They can't protect you from those terrorists that are going to take out our electric grid. Yeah. You believe that? Oh, I have many bridges to sell you. Oh, God. 
calls for federal spending instead of a reliance on rate hikes by individual utilities to fix their systems. So those utility companies that add, you know, a dollar to your bill or whatever amount they add as a fee and they've been claiming for decades that they are upgrading always their utility. What have they done with this money? Power grid is a prime target for attack by nation states and it is not fair for rate payers to bear the full burden for this national security function. So from the rate payer, we're going to put the burden on the taxpayer. Any way you look at it, you still get screwed. Now, they have protections, okay? And it's not going to be terrorists that take out our electric grid. If they were so concerned about this, oh, right, they were concerned about this about 15 years ago, and they still haven't done anything to protect our electric grid? Really? It's kind of like that wall, you know? You have these congressional hearings. Oh, Congress finally passes, you know, the, the Wall Security Act or something in 2006, but it's still not built. Now we've got Pelosi and Trump and Schumer, and they're fighting about that wall. And, oh, and those people like Schumer and Obama uh, and others who, well, Years prior to their claiming that we don't need a wall, they were saying we did need a wall, but now we don't need a wall. Oh, uh, uh, well, it's all a staged show for your entertainment. And so is this. Because our electric grid could be protected. There's a reason why they're telling you it's not because they're going to hit with an electromagnetic pulse, our electric grid, and they're going to bring it down. Ooh, and isn't that going to be a lot of fun to be around Americans when they don't have any TV? Oh, and they're not going to be able to get their prescriptions, their drugs, and they're not going to be able to refrigerate any food. And there's going to be an awful lot without food. And then what happens after those 14 days? If all Americans have 14 days at a minimum, enough to sustain their life. And so 14 days, then you got 15, 16, 17, 18, ongoing for six months. Wow. You're going to see an awful lot of Americans turning against one another for basic essentials. And it will all be set up deliberate because there are easy ways to protect the electric grid that I'm going to get into in one second. But yes, what else are they saying? Attack could also come with no notice, last a half a year, long duration, lasting several weeks to months, at least two months. Oh, but it could likely be six months or more. Wow. Okay. So this is a report just issued to President Trump. Terrorists going to take out our electric grid. Okay. Well, now we have notified those terrorists. We've notified them. You gotta attack our electric grid fast because our government's gonna finally get on it to protect it. So we've just given those terrorists the information they need. We gotta take them out really soon. Otherwise, we won't be able to do it. <laughs> oh my God, this country is so sick. And it's so obviously sick. Prior study was prepared by federal agencies and military. The new report 
industry and governmental leaders. Reports recommendations focus on the need for a central clearinghouse or authority to guide the nation. Oh, wow, a central clearinghouse or authority. FEMA, continuity of government. It's going to happen. It's not an if, it's only a when. The report reveals how unprepared people and governments are, despite the prepper movement in the nation. Some of these warnings from the report are below. Given the growing frequency and severity of disasters and other risks, there needs to be an increase in individual accountability, enterprise, and community investment in resilient infrastructure. Now, we have had that threat of an EMP taking out our electric grid for a really long time. Please, Americans, try to remember, try to remember last year, two years ago, three years ago, four years ago, five years ago, six years ago. Do some research. Mainstream media, they've been reporting on an EMP threat for a long time. This is not new news, but it is a new report to President Trump. Boy, they just can't seem to get anything done to protect Americans. There is a misconception that events occur infrequently. There needs to be more individual accountability for preparedness. Well, we don't do accountability. So what, what does that even look like? Individual accountability. Oh, taking your life into your own hands, I guess. Resilience at the state and local level will be critical to enable people to shelter in place and facilitate faster recovery. Any event that requires mass evacuation will use up critical resources, clog transportation pathways, and reduce the workforce necessary for infrastructure recovery, electricity, fuel, clean drinking water, wastewater services, food, refrigeration, emergency medical services, communications uh, capabilities, and some access to financial services all have been identified as critical lifeline services that would be needed to sustain local communities and prevent mass migration. So if only half of the country has no electricity and it goes on for a while, well, I guess those people in the we ain't got no electricity portion of the country will want to migrate to the other half that has electricity. Um, I hope that uh, when you read this report, if you do, surviving a catastrophic power outage, how to strengthen the capabilities of the nation, that you take into account all of the technology that we have, that we are the mightiest military in the world, and, well, you do a little bit of research, doesn't take long at all, and you find out scientists invent concrete that could stop an in an EMP. <laughs> Just in case you want to use your iPad after a nuclear war. A new concrete formulation designed to keep winter surfaces ice-free also has the unexpected benefit of protecting electronics from electromagnetic attack. Concrete serves as a shield from pulses of electronic energy that threaten to disable everything from military equipment to TV sets. Um, so, a nuclear bomb detonated over the United States would cause uh, that pulse needed to take out the electric grid. Now, they could set off something that looks like a nuclear bomb, but it doesn't have any of that radiation. But it'll look like a nuclear bomb. Then they take out the electric grid, and voila! stage set for an awful lot of people to die 
And, well, I guess uh, Americans who have always called us nut jobs, they're going to have to do a lot of thinking for a while to figure out how to survive. But they'll also freak out thinking it was a nuclear bomb when it wasn't. Oh, and you won't be told it wasn't. But they don't even need that. Uh, a facility like HARP. They can create like uh, something that is like a nuclear explosion just by uh, sending all of those fabulous uh, billion watts of, of energy into the ionosphere Radio waves naturally bounce off the ionosphere. But HARP can change the shape of the ionosphere by beaming high frequencies, heating up the ionosphere. So a billion watts, they could actually form that into like a laser beam and push the ionosphere up, you know, creating more height in the ionosphere, like a bubble in the ionosphere. And when they discharge that energy, woof, man, that, that comes right down back to Earth. All of that energy, you know, which by the high frequency heating of the ionosphere and then pushing up the ionosphere, it does, uh, it creates enormous energy in that height, heightened uh, portion of the ionosphere, it accumulates enormous energy, amounts of energy. So the discharge then would send energy back to Earth and it would be like a nuclear sized explosion. So they can, they can create that AMP by computer, just letting something like HARP do it for them. Now, do you think our military is not protected? Of course it is. And in fact, years ago, I read a paper. Uh, it was a military document, and they were talking about the military's capability of uh, creating plasma and that plasma could allow the military to have access to Wi-Fi. They could do that for all of us. Oh, but they won't. They won't. Don't worry. Uh-uh-uh. Because -uh. you're just not even on their radar to protect. They're wanting to kill you. Yeah, it's true. Unbelievable. So, um, the military, power systems, communications, weapons, all of it was hardened against that effect an EMP taking out the electric grid. The military got on it decades ago. Um, a Faraday cage. We all know. You put your electronics in a Faraday cage and you're protected. So why don't they have Faraday cages around that grid of ours. Oh, well, because they don't want to protect you. But they could. The special concrete mixture has bits of carbon and metal added to it to absorb energy. 
A key ingredient is magnetite, a mineral, an iron ore with magnetic properties. So this new concrete can create buildings and structures that protect against both explosive threats and electromagnetic threats. It could be used to protect power plants, communications, and other critical infrastructure, not only from nukes, but conventional EMP generators and coronal mass ejections. And here's another article about that. And these are the two guys that created it. So, it's all bullshit. It's all bullshit. Um, no, our military could certainly protect us against those terrorists, but they just choose not to. If we have an EMP that takes out the electric grid, you better think twice about that uh, what was it? The centralized authority or the central clearinghouse? The authority figure who's going to be telling you which way to go left, right, straight, turn around, head right into a FEMA camp? Well, that's where, you know, Americans will go. They'll listen to their authority figures because they have not been able to use common sense for a really long time and they'll believe the horse shit that they're told. Yes, the United States military can protect itself against terrorists, those bad terrorists, the evil doers. Well, now I guess it's good to prepare. Now you're not crazy. But this could also just be keeping Americans on the edge of their seats, afraid, afraid, filled with fear, so that they're so easily manipulated. Wow. Well, one way to get out of that fear is to do some research to find out how your government, your mainstream media, your military, they're all full of shit. And they've been telling you a good lie for a long time. If Americans would just wake up, stop accepting every lie that they hear, we could band together and fight the real terrorists. Oh, those in Washington, D.C., those in the White House, those in the Supreme Court, those in Congress, those in your state government, those in your local governments. Yeah. I can dream, can't I?